continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary today doing something a little bit different uh, this is a live stream here on our Wyoming life's channel last time we were live was clear back in, at the end of April uh, with our 24-hour uh, live stream this one is gonna last uh, nowhere near as long we hope uh, because we are doing something a little bit different today and that is a abbreviated version of branding 2022 in the past we've done live streams of branding and really kind of the same thing over and over and over again for hours so what we're doing today is actually kind of cutting that down for everybody because there, people said well it's just so long and uh, couldn't hang out the whole time or whatever didn't get their core questions answered or or whatever it might have been we're actually doing a little bit shorter version today and this is a four calf branding we are going to be branding our bottle calves today because the rest of everybody else they got branded two days ago and uh out with the out with their moms and moving all the way back to summer pasture already as uh, as they get uh they get on with their lives and and we get on with ours Cal uh, calving is almost over with we're down to what three or four uh calves left uh to to be born those are our late comers uh we'll still keep an eye on them and we have haying just around the corner and it looks like we are going to be haying this year like we've been talking about and we can't wait to bring you guys along for that as well. I think we're gonna probably do a live stream of some sort uh, during haying, and also we have a few other surprises up our sleeves, including uh, what I'm hoping will be a haying webcam that you'll be able to keep track of a field over a matter of days and see how that uh, that thing, uh, uh, the whole field and how the, how the hay and everything comes together. So we're over here in our uh, AeroQuip Corral. We're at, at our calving table. This is what we use uh, to, to brand the calves. We also have all of our stuff set up. We're gonna take a look at that in just a second. We have Bean somewhere around here to help us out. Uh, we also have Jeff who's gonna be giving us a hand and of course our calves. So Jeff, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, you, uh, you're looking forward to hand? I am. It is, uh, it's interesting that uh, we go through like like series of events on the ranch. It's always, you know, you're calving. Branding is definitely a, a milestone. You hit that, you get that over with, and now cows are moving back towards summer pasture. Yep. And the next up is 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 haying, which is we haven't done for a while. So <laughs> I'm really, I really am looking forward to that. We still have a whole lot of work to do before we get to hay, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you guys along with some of that. Uh, we are going to be uh, repairing a lot on mowers and balers and rakes and tractors and stuff like that that haven't been used for months so or years actually <laughs> three years months yeah some, <laughs> some cases months so here's our calves right back here and we're going to catch you guys up on what we got going on with bottle calves and uh, that is that we have four bottle calves actually uh, we have marty here that everybody remembers marty was our first bottle calf we have frida that's hanging out back there if you can see her back there with the collar on Laying there next to her is actually number nine, and that's the one uh, that the mom died, and we made the video about composting mom. And then right here, we have number 29, who's uh, the youngest calf of the bottle calves, and one of the shyest, and Marty's trying to eat me. Um, and that is, uh, the, the, her mom actually passed away as well. So we are definitely out here in, I'm gonna, like wipe off my camera here really quick. Somebody said there was a fingerprint on the camera. Let me wipe that off. All right. <laughs> it's always something. There's lots of dirt, lots of wind. Uh, we're going to get a lot dirtier, so there might be more than fingerprints on the camera if you, if you get what I'm talking about. So let's take a look and see what we've got here for supplies. And we're doing a couple things different this year for, uh, for branding. Uh, we have our vaccines, which are right here. I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can see what we're doing here so we've got our vaccines here uh, i don't have these guns completely loaded up because we only have four calves to do so we have our nasal gen which is our uh, anti-pneumonia type drug we have our seven way which has a lot of good stuff in it uh including uh things that are in the colostrum um that the cow gets uh, at, uh, at, uh, uh, when they're born and they get from their mom. Uh, the la last thing that we're doing is actually a new thing. In the past, we've done uh, Pyramid 5 at, uh, at branding. We decided to skip that this year. We're going to be doing that at preconditioning, which, ha which happens when these guys get weaned. But this is actually uh, something called Multi-Men, 
which I've got the box for right here. Uh, Multi-min is actually a vitamin that uh, we can give to the cows. It's a vitamin supplement. Zinc, magne manganese, uh, selenium, and copper uh, gives them a little bit of a booster. So we're gonna try that this year as well. Also over here, we have our fly tags that are gonna go on these guys. We also have our new EID or RFID tags. And these are basically the UPC symbols that every single cow gets now on the ranch. And I just dumped them out. Um, each one of these guys will get a number and the number will be uh, theirs for life. And we'll be able to use that to keep track of whatever's going on. Now, we do give them um, ear tags, but they can lose ear tags. And, and technically they can lose these too, but uh, we wanna make sure that we've got something that's pretty permanent that will stick with them uh, their entire lives. You can see the back right there, unlawful to remove. Apparently it's lawful to put on. Uh, we also have our bands for the boys. We've got two boys in there. These are gonna help them uh, grow up big and strong, uh, lacking two of their best friends, but that's okay, they'll get over it. And we also have um, scour pills if we have to. We can give uh, one of those guys or give them some scour pills. We have our wound spray that we're gonna be using after branding. And then this is our balling gun that goes with our scour pills if we have to give it. Our brand over here is actually Aaron and I's brand. This is backwards and upside down. So let me switch it around. There we go. This is our brand. This is uh, Aaron and I's official brand and this has been our brand for years. But on the ranch, you've seen us using the A Bar brand and that is the ranch brand. But since things are changing around here, we're actually branding all the cattle because they all are ours. So officially this year, every sing single cow on the ranch is ours. Hi, Mackenzie. Hi, I didn't know you were branding today. <laughs> yeah, you're here to help? Uh, sure, I was coming out here to play with them for a little bit, but okay, I'll help. <laughs> okay, well, you can still play with them, that's cool. This is Mackenzie, uh, she's 11 years old. And are you gonna take over the ranch someday? I hope. You hope? Mm -hmm. You got some competition though. I heard Grace is, uh, might be bucking for your job. <laughs> All right. So first step here is that we're gonna bring these calves in and uh, that just involves kind of pushing them here. Now these are bottle calves. So they're a little bit different to work with than regular calves because these guys are our friends. So while well, you can help jump right in there, sweetie. Yesterday, Latte let me pet him a little bit. Really? Right on the forehead. This one's trying to eat me still. And after that, he tried walking up to me, and then he just purposely walked in front of him to scare him. <laughs> All right, while Jeff gets these guys moved, I've got uh, some time here to answer some comments. Bean over here giving us a hand. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them. I can see them on my little tiny screen here. So it's about, uh, what is it? 61 degrees here on the ranch today, a little windy. We're expecting some uh, some storms this afternoon, so hopefully we don't get rained out here. It was definitely a concern earlier today. Bean, you're in the way. Come back on this side. So bottle calves, uh, like Brian just said, can be a bit of a nuisance. They're definitely not, you know, any calves are really kind of a pain in the butt. Um, cows are, are a little bit uh, better trained or maybe not even so much trained, but they're they're easier to work with. So, with that said, you can probably get some neighbors who cowboy for a living to bring their horses over it's faster and easier than a calf table. Well, for the time for them to get their horses over here would probably take longer than it's gonna take for us to do this today. So, not really too worried about it. All right, so actually we had uh, branding up here on the ranch on Saturday. A bunch of our moderators and friends were able to come up here, including William Dunn, who's here today with us. Zach Hewitt wasn't able to make it, but uh, very, uh, very good time had by all. We'll probably be posting some pictures of that here in the very near future, so. All right. Jeff now has them move. What is that thing called, Kenzie, do you remember? The tub, the tub. He's got them moved up in the tub and now we can move them into the calf table. All right. 
So, one of the big things that I really like about uh, showing this with bottle calves is people get worried that, uh, that we're hurting these guys. And these bottle calves are used to us, so it's actually a pretty good example of how mellow this whole process can be. Last year uh, with Cole, he just took a bottle in his mouth the entire time. Exactly. So, we're going to bring in a calf. Just go ahead and bring him in and then I'll, get, I'll come around and get the head shoot. Yep. Now we've got a calf in here. Latte, number 29. So this is number 29. This is our newest bottle calf. Um, by the way, number nine, who uh, was the bottle calf whose mom died, actually didn't ever end up taking a bottle. He just kind of weaned himself off. So that was actually pretty handy. And now he's eating grain and everything else. So, all right. We're going to bring him up. Her. Him? Him. Him. Come on, get up. squeeze there we go all right you want to come over on this side for a second and help us out with filming if you can I don't know if I'll be able to move around the camera enough usually I have Aaron here to do this part so this little button switches the camera back and forth but the microphone's looking at you so you're the one doing the talking now at uh -oh. this point uh oh so Alright, so this is the nasal gin. I don't know if they can hear me or not. So this is the nasal. Actually, what we can do is here, let's do this. Do you feel like talking? Probably not. Oh man. Alright, hold on. Let me flip flop the microphone. There we go. Yeah, this one's okay. Yeah, we'll fix it. So this is the nasal gin. You want to get up in here, Jeff. This is actually just a really quick um, aspirated in their nose. And they breathe it up. Next up is our multi-min. This is our vitamin. Really quick shot. Only one cc goes in. It's barely even like breathing, or barely, barely even anything in there. And then our seven way, which is the same thing. Is the seven way like the burst of energy? Kind of, sure. We'll go with that. All right. Let's do fly tag. If you have it, so we do fly tags on the calves rather than on the moms, and we do that um, so that they rub them off. They rub the fly uh, insecticide off on their moms, but. These guys don't have moms, so they get the full benefit of all this. Another tag, this is the button tag Aww. that we're going to put on the RFID tag. Beans, thank you. Beans make a friends. What I want to do is make sure I write down the number so that when I enter it in the computer later on, I have the right one for the right count. What exactly are those like? So they're little, uh, they have a little tiny computer chip in them uh -huh. that our reader can read. So it's like a little bit like Bluetooth, but not really. Does it like track them? No, it doesn't track them. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't do anything, but give them a number okay. that we can scan. Okay. Turn on out here again. We didn't do that last again. We nope, this is totally new. It's like that. Okay. We got all that done. Now, it's a boy, right? Yep. So what do we have to do? Uh, band. We have to band him. So this is our banding gun. And this is our little Cheerio that goes on. Opens up. Goes around the boys. All right, Kenzie. Uh -huh. You're going to have to film this part. And Jeff's going to have to give me a hand, okay? Come, where'd you, where are you at? Right here. Okay. Where do you want me to be? Wherever you want to be. I'll be over here. Why don't you come over here? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. So we're gonna grab what we grab. We're gonna count one, two, three. And on we go. And that's it. In about three to four weeks, they'll fall right off. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can we can actually do it probably down there, yeah. Whoop, I flipped it, but I don't need to flip it. And it's the same thing that we promised to do at Andy McKenzie's boyfriend. All right, we're gonna bring it back up. And now oh, for the uncomfortable part. We gotta lay out. He's, he's okay. He's okay. Here, Kenzie. Here. Here. I have to do this. Okay, you do that then. <laughs> Kenzie's gonna take the wound spray. So the wound spray that Kenzie has is actually a, uh, a spray that kills any flies, maggots, anything like that, because it will be considered an open wound even though it is a burn. Um, it will actually... He fell down. <laughs> <laughs> and both his legs are out. Yeah might have to lay him down to do this so john thomas wants to know does branding reduce the value of the hide you know, honestly i don't know our uh our processor doesn't save the hides so we don't know all right, all right Kenzie, um, here here's what we're gonna do guys i am actually going to flip you guys around here really quick sorry a little bumpy all right because we need all three of us here for this part we're gonna put you guys right up here where you get a nice little view. All right. Buddy. Got him? Oh, okay. So our brand is considered a left rib brand. Um, so it has to be in a certain place that's legally required by the state. It has to be where it's assigned. So that's all there is to it. Kenzie sprays it with the wound spray. Obviously, he's fine. So and then Jeff's gonna let him out. Like Bam. Hi. And where are we so they're just gonna hang out here with us for a little bit. So. Come on out. Hey. Like, I don't want to come out, man. Come on, dude. He's got his head out. just so each other in the way because she's definitely the most friendly yeah probably all right so what are you going to do next are you going to do the shots or are you going to do the branding uh, what are you going to do nasal you're going to you're going to do the nasal thing okay Na okay did i i didn't say the nasal gin all right so jeff's going to bring us in another calf jeff can we do marty last well i don't i don't have a choice <laughs> All right, so here comes Frida. This is a female. Is that head gate open? Yeah. Nice. Hold on. All right, go ahead and just get her in, and then we'll put the, the gate back in. I can tell you this weekend when we did this, we had a few more people that helped us out here. Okay. Bottle calves are so much fun. 
If you've watched branding in the past, you've seen calves come shooting out of here. Bottle calves, not so much. So Kenzie's gonna do the nasal gin. All right. What else do you wanna do, Kenz? I don't trust myself doing shots. You don't trust yourself doing shots, okay. I mean, I can try one, but also I don't like putting in your head. All right, let's... Uh, are, we, are we doing this thing or no? No, oh, not with this one. So, they don't have scour. Do you want to try doing an ear tag? Uh, not, really. not really. Okay, I'll do an ear. I'll do the fly tag. Okay. 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 All right. So another fly tag going in. And guys, I know that uh, I'm not really paying attention to comments right now. So uh, we are going to have some time here at the end. I'll be able to answer any questions that you have. Your comments. What are the last, I need the last four of our RFID number there, Jeff. You just want to hold it up so I can read it? 4597. The last four? Yep, 334-597. Okay. Last six numbers. Yeah, last six numbers. And this is uh, Frida and she's number what? 27. 27. Yeah. Okay. Right. This goes in that way? Yep. So you just open that up. There you go. All right, RFID gun or RFID tag. Load it up. Oh, I forgot we left Latte out. Just like Andy got out. That's it. Quick and easy. Okay. Oh, you hit a. Uh, finish up with our shots. You hit a uh, yeah. vein. Yeah, you hit a vein. Should be. She bleeding a little bit in her ear. Yeah, and it's going down the ear tag. On the other side? Uh, no, on the fly tag. She's all right. Well, you know what, Kenzie? What? Oh, yes. Just hit it with that. So we did get a little bit of blood coming out from where she got her fly tag there. Oh, all right, what else we got to do? Uh, we got a brander, that's right. She's all done. Quick and easy. Come on. There's her brand. Come on out, girl. And out she comes. Where's the other one? Where'd the other calf go? Is he hiding? Okay. All right. So as much as, uh, you know, the RFID tag, the EID tag, whatever you want to call it, um, we have our, our regular ear tags, our regular number tags. All of these things are very temporary, whereas the brand is, the very, is really the only permanent um, identification. Bean, you got to move. Is, only the, uh, is the only permanent identification that these cows have do have. Um, cattle rustling is still a real thing. It happens uh, even here in the middle of nowhere. All right, so we got another boy here. Okay, you did the nasal gin already, Kenzie? Yep. All right, so let me finish up the shots. Jeff, do you want to do anything? I'll tag. What's that? I'll tag. You're going to tag? Okay. Doing our shots, seven way, all time in. So funny story with, uh, with multi man is uh, this is something new that we're using this year. And 
I found out about it through uh, uh, our bull breeder, uh, Magnon uh, Ranches up in Montana where we got our bulls. Give and, Peter and bull. Yeah, and LOL. Lots of love, right? Or laugh out loud. Or laugh out loud. Anyway, multi-men is something that they're using there as well. And I actually, uh, they got a hold of me, I think a couple of years ago, and they wanted us to work with them. And I kind of said, well, you know, we don't use multi-men. Um, but uh, now, I mean, it seems to be something that we're going to try and see if it makes any difference. I can't, uh, I can't guarantee that it will, but it makes sense to try to give them the vitamins that they need when they need them. All right, what's your number there, bud? Uh, Jeff's, number nine. Jeff is jotting down our numbers. Yeah. Oh, I can write it down if I had a pen. I don't know, I don't know where the pen went. Anybody see where the pen went? <laughs> All right, what do we got? Three, three, four. Okay. Six, one, one. Six, one, one, and that's number nine. All right. And again, this is just a permanent identification. So put it in that area. So this will allow the steers to be able to try be tracked through their entire uh, life here on the ranch, and of course the the heifers as well. So time to band another one. I think this is a boy, right? Yep, it's it is. Andy the boy. All right, here you go, Kens. No. Okay, you can talk to those folks. Answer some questions. I'll try. Bean. All right, back to it again. How long does it hurt the calf after branding? Uh, you can see they're already, they're just off walking around doing their thing, so not a whole lot of aches and pains seem to be happening. Missing one. There we go. There, Frida I got it. didn't even make a sound. So. Yeah, Don't exactly. do it. No, she did. Just no, Frida didn't make Frida a sound. Didn't make a sound. Well, she did at first. All right, we got them. We count. One, two, three. Don't miss another one like Lefty. Yep, on they go. Good to go. You want to just brand him while he's up here? Can't do. Okay. Uh, where am I putting the camera? Uh, why don't you hold on to it this time, okay? Okay. All right, so let's... Uh, we're aiming for rib, so let's try it right, right about here. So get this one up. He's gonna move on us. So a lot of times I just like to touch them, and then that gets them to, you know, kind of relax just a little bit. I uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any branding because I feel bad just for doing these um, and bottle caps because I like them. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. Hey, look at that. That's, Perfect. Okay, can you take this okay, so I can on. spray? Yeah, I wanna, this is a, That's a good brand. there's a good example right there. So it's pretty much what we're looking for. Kenzie's gonna spray it. Lock that down. Up comes the calf table. Look at Jeff and all those muscles. All right, and out comes number nine. This is Andy, little orphan Andy right here. Come on out, bud. We've only got one left to do here. Laying down on the job. Jeff, or Bean, or whoever. <laughs> Need some help? Oh, look at that, he's got his legs crossed. He's just kicking back and relaxing here. He's chilling. Come on, bud. So this is the one that's mom died, but he actually weaned himself off completely. We haven't uh, had to give him any bottles, so. He's also very chill. Can we try to pull on his Kenzie, can you hold this? Yep. There we go. There he goes. All right, one last one, Kenzie. Who's it gonna be? Marty Marty. Uh, so a lot of people, good question from Julie there. Why are we banding and not using a knife for castration? Um, you know, honestly, this is what we were taught to do. This is how um, Gilbert showed us how to do it. And this is, uh, this is the way we've always done it. There's, you know, there's pluses and minuses to both. And uh, everybody will argue that their way is the best. Um, I don't argue that. I think that, uh, you know, everybody's got their own way of doing things. And, uh, one thing that being on the internet has taught me is that everybody's got an opinion. 
<laughs> and Jeff and laughs. It's worth what you pay for. It. Exactly. And you know what? And nobody's opinion is wrong. Although the uh, the way some people deliver their opinion can be uh, definitely improved. All right. One last one to go in. This is Marty. Come on, Marty. Come on, Smarty Marty. Move forward. Why does that calf have a collar? This is actually a bottle calf. This is Marty. Come on, kiddo. A little farther. There we, oh, a little bit farther. There we go. All right. Oh, hi, guys. Why are you still wearing your pajamas, Lincoln? <laughs> All right. You can come in. Yeah. How are you going to get in? Can you come around this way? Come through these gates over here? <coughs> come on in. All right. Rest of the crew is here. Erin's actually in town managing her uh, EPP business. Thank you, Traveler. I think our jerky is, jerky is delicious as well. Kenzie, do you like the jerky? I do. I love the jerky. Uh, new flavors that are out there include uh, maple jalapeno, which is awesome. And of course, the, uh, the garlic, uh, garlic pepper. That's pretty good too. Those are our two new flavors, but I still really do like the... Uh, um, Can I spray? What's that? Can I spray? Do you want to spray? Yeah. All right, Grace is here. She wants to spray. We already did shots, right? Um, no, we haven't done anything here okay, yet. I'll so, do, can you help me with the shot? You want to do a shot? Sure. All right, Lincoln. Do you want to do the nasal gin? No. We already did nasal gin. Oh, you already did? Oh, okay. Never mind. Do you want to do a shot, Lincoln? No. You want a brand? No. Do you want a hundred dollars? Meh. Meh. Okay. You're gonna do shots, Kenzie? Sure. All right. Help pick me. a shot. Which one do you want to do? All right. So that is our multi men. So this is Kenzie's first time giving a shot all no, by I've herself. I, no, I'm doing it by myself. Yep, you're doing it all by yourself. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tent it up there. So you're just gonna insert. Now, don't, make sure you go, don't go at too much of an angle because you go right through the skin. Uh, I'm scared. You're scared? <laughs> you're okay. I don't know. I don't just know. go, no, not too much of an angle. I, try it again. I, what? I, it's okay, I, you're okay. Right there? right there, try it right there. Push it down. Push it down. No, no, you didn't, gotta put it in their skin, sweetie. Scared. You're scared? I don't wanna hurt her. I know. It's okay, but this is this is medicine, so it makes mm -hmm. her feel better. Okay, so you're gonna have to push it in the skin. Push it in. Push it in. Just like that. There you go, you got it. There you go, squeeze. Pull it out. There you go. You wanna do the next one? No. <laughs> you don't wanna do another one? I'm You're okay? Grace, do you wanna try giving a shot? No. Lincoln, do you wanna try giving a shot? No. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, we're just gonna come right in here. Here we go. Well, uh, she doesn't have one, so. She's six. Yeah, so she pulled her tag she's out. Actually, six. Bean helped her with that she's process. Number six. She's she, number six. Was she number six? I'm pretty sure she was number six. Well, we'll figure it out. She All right. number six. In goes the RFID tag. Jeff's going to give a little squeeze there. We're going to talk about our brand here in just a minute. And I'll let you guys know what's up with that. Um, fly tag? Duns. Oh, you done ski. Oh, you already did it. Sweet. All right. So now we're just up to the brand. Kenzie? I'll film. Unless you want a brand. No. Okay. I don't want to hurt her. Okay. Hold the camera. Make sure you're looking where you're pointing the camera so everybody can see. All right. So this is Marty. Jump around a lot. <laughs> okay, there we go. I got a spitz. All right, you got a spray? Yeah. Okay. Help me. You want me to help you? Okay, you ready? Squeeze it. Make sure you get it all in there. Okay. Now, now again, there's the brand. It's a it depends who you talk to. So it's a lazy M slash diamond. I call it a three slash diamond. Do you know why, Kenzie? Why? Because we've got three kids and you're all diamonds. Maybe. I'm just kidding, Lincoln. 
care. He doesn't care. All right, that's it for Marty. Out comes Marty, beans over there, just hanging out. Out comes Marty, calm as can be. And, as hungry, back and there we go. Everybody's calm, collected, and in their pajamas. Where's Frida go? <laughs> Where the heck did Frida go? I do agree. Uh, Calico said it seems like they're a little calmer when they're on their sides. I would actually agree with that. The branding itself is a little bit more difficult because you're leaning up and over, but um, I, I would agree. I actually don't mind branding them when they're up on their sides like that. So there are brands uh, pretty much all over the place. Uh, you know, obviously we have a left rib brand, but you can have hip, um, shoulder, horses have jaw brands even um, all over the place. What's up? I can't she's, somebody left the door open, so she's already over there. Gracie! <laughs> Frida's out. She's like, I'm out of here. All right, so that's it for these guys for today. We just have to pick up and be done. I do have a couple other things that I want to talk to you guys about. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them as we... Uh, we lose the lids. Um, <laughs> as we pick up here. If you have any questions uh, you'd like to... Uh, uh, que questions you want to ask or uh, comments you'd like to make, feel free to do that and we'll be happy to answer them. You can ask anybody a question here. I'm sure that uh, we'd be happy to answer them. Even Jeff back there who may not be, but how are you today, Jeff? I am well, thank you. <laughs> you should have seen uh, Jeff was out here on branding. I'll have to post a picture someday online, but uh, what did your shirt say? Ranch hand, the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, there you go. Not too far off. So, kids out here giving us a hand, which is super awesome. Are you guys ready to move these cows back over? I don't even think you guys could do it with just two people. You don't think we could have done it without your help? No. Yeah. Because we need to stop. <laughs> All right, we have to move the calves back over to their, uh, to their assigned side. Of course, the big question is... Uh, um, you know, well, I guess there's lots of questions, but I'll answer a couple of them here as I go through. Uh, the brands are actually uh, a little tricky to get, and that's because I think all the good brands are taken. But, uh, when we first went about getting our own brand, um, I tried to make my own brand, right? So I, I had a, a design idea, and we submitted that to the state, and it came back that that brand could be changed to another brand too easily, which makes sense. So um, we ended up having to go with a brand off the abandoned brand list, which are brands that, that uh, nobody paid for because you do have to pay for your brand. You pay for, uh, I think it's 10 years at a time or something like that. So we got a brand off the abandoned brand list and uh, that's, that's the one we stuck with, which was fine. I mean, it worked out for us and gave, we gave it meaning and, and we definitely uh, made it worth it. So the ranch brand itself is still a bar. Um, that brand belongs to Aaron's mom still. Um, so we decided to brand this year with all of our own. Well, they're all our own cattle, so they all get our brand. So. There is a possibility, who knows, maybe, that uh, we could change brands to the ranch brand eventually someday, but for now, it's, it's all ours, so. All right, let me see. Let me go back here and see if I have any other questions. Um, the calves are not traumatized. They're actually very, very calm. Are the, tra are the calves traumatized, Jeff? No, I think I'm more traumatized than they are. Yeah, it's a little windy. <laughs> yeah, it's the wind. Yeah, it's the wind. I'm a little windswept. <laughs> All right, kids are moving the calves back to their corral. Um, we let them stay out here in the arrow quit most of the time, unless it starts getting a little uh, a little stormy or something like that. Then we'll put them back in the barn, since they don't have moms to take care of them, or unless it's branding day. All right. Go ahead and close that up. You guys are good to go. Yeah. Can you pop in? 
All right, uh, from Jeffrey, uh, you have a sign that says Oaken something that's laying over by the side of the arrow equip. What's that all about? Uh, you know what he's talking about? What happened? There's a sign that says Oaken something on the other side of the brown. Oh, yeah. We'll go over and take a look at that really quick. Yeah, Jeff's gonna grab bean. Bean? You wanted, you wanted us to get bean, right? Yeah, Jeff's gonna take care of it. <laughs> it is nice having Jeff around, that's for sure. Um, Jeff, in case you don't know, is uh, we met through the channel. He was uh, a subscriber from San Francisco that uh, we just got along with and, and ended up hanging out with. And here he is on the ranch giving us a, a, giving us a hand. So we're going to head over here to those signs that uh, Jeffrey was talking about. We're working our way through the arrow quip. I do like live streams, by the way. Um, I know they're sometimes not the best quality or whatnot, but uh, I like the interaction and I like being able to do them. If you do like the live streams, you can go and subscribe to our um, secondary channel, our sister channel, whatever you want to call it, which is Beyond the Ranch, which kind of is all live streams and gives us a chance to really take you guys behind the scenes. So here are these signs that you guys were talking about. Oda Coven south ranch uh, that's what this ranch was called up until the time that gilbert passed away and a, and a little while after that actually um, and then there was the odakoven rawhide ranch and this was their sign up there that's where gilbert's family original originally um homesteaded so gilbert's family originally homesteaded on the rawhide ranch that ranch was actually purchased by a coal mine odakoven was aaron's stepdad's last name Gilbert Odekoven was his name, and he's actually buried just off the ranch property. In fact, I can show you, you can actually see his headstone from right here. It is right up there by that tree, is Gilbert's headstone. So, very cool piece of uh, history. All right, strolling our way back here, taking a look some of the comments, I don't want to miss anything. Um, but I am going to take you back and show you a couple other new additions to the ranch. Now you guys uh, know about Ethel, of course, our donkey, but Ethel stays in the barn overnight. She stays with the goats during the day. And actually now we have our own little petting zoo that we put next to the farm store. But now Ethel actually has roommates. I'm gonna try to sneak in here and get you guys a look at this new ones added on Whew, that wind is crazy i'm glad we have microphones that can stand up to that all right we're heading back here into the barn this is our barn right back there is where ethel stays use this used to actually be ethel's corral but she got evicted because we've got new additions over here and uh, I'm going to clamp the camera here somewhere so I don't have to hold it. Answer some comments from you guys, and I'll get ready to cut you loose here. I figured we'd probably spend about an hour together. Um, got in here actually put away in the barn. Multiple. One, two. There's a hidden tractor somewhere back there. Where's the other one? Right back there. Uh, these are our haying tractors. We've got them stashed away back here right now just because... Uh, we're looking forward to a, a storm coming, so we don't want to lose any windows or anything like that. So, all right, now get to relax for a minute. Kids uh, all went back inside or wherever they were going, and I'll get to kick back here and answer a few uh, comments. We do have a $2 super chat. I didn't even see that come through. Who is that from? Let's see if I can click on it. I can't. Well, dang it. Anyway, thank you very much for the $2 super chat. Really do appreciate it. <sighs> All right. If you didn't see them, if I, if you if you if you missed us uh, when we went back to the barn, they have uh, new pigs in there uh, uh, with them. So new little baby bacon bits. Um, not sure. I guess from Weber. I can't. I'm not sure. I could have my father's grave so close. I get the feeling he watches me. Uh, that was kind of the joke uh, when when Gilbert was buried up there was that he'd be able to keep an eye on pretty much everything that I did. And uh, it's very true. He does. I do believe he does. 
Um, do you know who had your brand before you? Unfortunately, I don't. I probably, I might be able to look it up actually uh, in the brand book. That's a good question. How many piglets do you get? Uh, we actually have nine right now. Uh, the guy that we got them from, they uh, um, have a few more for us, but they're not quite big enough. So um, from Ralph, the goat cam is down. Actually, you know why the goat cam's down? Because we unplugged it and used the cord for the branding iron. <laughs> so that's why uh, it's down. Uh, emus are good. Uh, they're actually uh, in the other room. They're, uh, I don't know what they're doing. They're hanging out, resting, and I, I'd lose service if I go down in there. So one of these days, we're gonna have to make another uh, video about the emus. Are you gonna show the Model T? Uh, sure. There's the Model T. If you do ever get a chance to come visit the ranch, my microphone just fell out. There we go. That camera is too high up there. If you ever do get a chance to come visit the ranch, uh, we do a tour every single morning at 8.30. And uh, we go through and we show people the Model T and we take a look at the, the goats and the pigs and the emus and everybody. It's a lot of fun if you ever get a chance to be up this way. Uh, does branding smell like cooking steak or burning hair? More like burning hair. I've, I've contemplated actually shaving calves and uh, eh, I decided not to do it. But uh, we've also looked at doing some freeze branding, that kind of stuff, but we're just not set up for it yet. So Aaron's gardens look great. They are coming along. Um, we'll have to figure out some way to squeeze them in a video here before too long too. Uh, I can tell you the next few videos, we're gonna be getting ready for haying. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do with the tractors. We haven't ran a lot of this stuff in about three years. So um, we're gonna be going through and figuring out what works and, and doesn't work. Uh, did you test the free Martins yet to see if they're able to produce? I actually need to talk to my vet and find out when exactly uh, we, can, we can do that. I think there's a, uh, they have to be a certain age before we can do it. And there's two different ways that they can do it. They can do a blood test and then there's also a physical examination. So um, any rain predicted? Uh, now, I don't think so, as far as I know. I think what we're going to see um, here in the next couple weeks is some warm temperatures. Hopefully, that'll get the grass growing, and uh, then, you know, we'll be able to get some hand done and, and uh, get her, you know, have a good time. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm hoping that we don't get a bunch of storms and mess up haying. All right. Well, looks like I got pretty much all the questions answered. If you, uh, if you have a question that didn't get answered yet, then let me know, and uh, we'll get it answered here in the next couple minutes before we sign off. And I'm going to head back to work. Actually, Jeff and I are heading out to um, do some fencing. We're going to do a bunch of fencing and get that all all taken care of on the north side of the road where we have our and uh here within the next couple days because we got to move on to haying and and we really can't be you know stuck on old projects which is once we start haying um we did do some math and we figured if we could hay straight through if we could cut straight through uh without any breakdowns without ever stopping with ever you know no meals nothing else um we have a hundred hours of cutting alone then we have raking and baling on top of that. So um, lots of work still to be done uh, here in the next month or so as we get into haying and all that kind of good stuff. So um, have you ever thought about raising Berkshire hogs? Nope, we have other people raise hogs for us. We just take them from them. Really don't have any interest in, in having a, a sow or a boar, so. Um, Mary Jane, thank you very much for being here. We really hope that you can uh, subscribe and follow along. We don't live stream on Our Wyoming Life a lot. Uh, usually maybe once every three months or something like that. Uh, we have a live stream channel that we call Beyond the Ranch. And there we're able to do a whole bunch of uh, um, live streams and that kind of stuff. So we, we tend to do that kind of stuff over there. Uh, Our Wyoming Life is more just kind of straight up videos. So let's see. Did you ever think your kids would ever help with branding at such young ages? Uh, well, that's a good question. I don't know. They, they're they here. They're helping out. I mean, I'm happy they're interested in it. I think that uh, um, it's pretty easy for them to hang out and, and disappear in their rooms and all that kind of stuff. But it is nice that, you know, when there's stuff going on, they want to be a part of it. And I think that that's a really good thing. 
they're still kids though they still want to go and goof off so um could you cut hay now instead of waiting in case of bad weather i mean bad weather could happen at any time nancy we've got um we had thunderstorm warnings this afternoon so it's really just kind of a hit or miss type of thing but um if we wait a couple more weeks we're gonna get um more mature grass and more grass hopefully is is the hope what you're trying to do is kind of time it out there's a couple things um, our alfalfa will start to bloom and once that alfalfa starts to bloom then we really got to get in and try to get it cut uh, we want to make sure we we maintain the protein that we can and alfalfa does have a a whole lot of that protein that we want to be able to keep so that's kind of the timing wise that we're working out we also don't want stuff to get too dry and then we're not able to cut it either it, it gets too dry you know it falls it just turns to dust so we want to make sure there is kind of that magic time to get it done so uh baltazar asked where's matt i just saw him he just said something back there i'm pretty sure i thought there he is yeah matt's right there he's in the he's in the chat actually he's back in chicago hanging out with his family uh we hope to get him back out here pretty soon so um Tornado warnings in Gillette area. Do you guys have a storm cellar? We do have, we have basements. In fact, even the shop has a basement. So that's kind of nice. Uh, unique cows on the ranch. Well, we've got Cracker Jack is a very unique cow. In fact, uh, we, when we branded a couple days ago, we brought all the cows through and we weighed all the cows and we got everybody with the RFID tags. Everybody out here is all, all taken care of. We weighed Cracker Jack. Anybody have any guesses about how much Cracker Jack weighed? Um, he's big. I'll give you that, but, uh, throw up some guesses and we'll see if anybody, uh, hits it right. Cracker Jack was a big guy. Um, let's see. Finishing school webcam up yet? No. And I'll tell you why I actually have to get better internet out there and I've got, and I just have to find time to do it. I've got all the equipment. I just need to get it done. Um, all right. Well, Brian hit it right on, 2,100 pounds. He was actually 2,109 pounds. So good job, Brian. Of course, Brian has an unfair advantage. He deals a lot with cows. So he probably knew how much, she, how much Cracker Jack weighed a long time ago. 2,100 pounds. I was pretty surprised when he came through. He actually weighs more than Doof Vader does, our bull. He weighed 1,850, I think, last time we weighed him. So big guy, 2,100 pounds of pure just muscle. In fact, uh, when we brought him through, he he doesn't go through the, the shoots a whole lot. So he was not really happy about it. He tried to run over the cow in front of him. Actually, not over. He went under. He went under the cow in front of him and had her way up in the air. It was actually kind of funny to watch. But we, we managed to get him through there. So let's see. How old is Cracker Jack? Uh, how old is he? He was born in 2009. So whatever that is. <laughs> from Dave Morales, $2 Super Chat. Thank you very much for the branding experience. Um, appreciate you guys coming along with us. Average weight for the herd, right about 1,200 pounds, 1,100, 1,200 pounds, somewhere in there. And yeah, that is, that's, it's <laughs> me, eh? That's exactly what Aaron said. That's a whole lot of jerky. Why keep Cracker Jack? Cracker Jack is our lead steer. He's been here since the day he was born. Um, he actually works out if we go out, um, we all, you know, you bring a bucket of cake or something with you, he'll follow you. Usually the herd will follow along as well. It makes it a lot easier to move things around, especially when you're by yourself. So, all right, guys, I'm going to hang things up. I'm going to get you guys out of here. Um, the bottle calves, and we're going to go out and take a look at them again. Ethel is still pregnant. The big thing that I wanted to be able to show today, especially with these bottle calves, is when you watch branding with the wild calves and i'm going to say the 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 regular calves in the herd there's a lot of bawling there's a lot of uh, uh mooing there's it's loud it's, it's obnoxious um it's hard to it's sometimes even hard to watch you could be like wow um these these calves are just going through hell and really what it is is it's that is that they're they're away from their moms right that's that's the hard part they're away from their moms and where are these guys' moms? So when we bring them through for branding, there's very little bawling. There's, it's, it's calm, it's easy. We move them through and we're not doing anything to hurt these animals. Everything that we do for them is to make sure that every single day on their life or every single day of their life on the ranch is the best day 
that we can possibly make it. We always say every animal on the ranch has one bad day, but today is not it. Guys, I'm gonna cut you loose. We're gonna get back to work. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Be sure to subscribe, follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Head on over to our website, ourwarminglife.com. And be sure to follow along on Facebook and Instagram if you get a chance as well. Guys, we'll see you later. And uh, we'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life. Have a good night, guys.